Hopefully I'm gonna get more consistent with this little setup because it's a little hard to position it exactly the way I want it on this bed. But, pull up. We have the struggle candles this time. These are from Ikea, vanilla candles, very cheap. I think they're like $3 for those who know, you know. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video. And today we have a vintage pickups video. So I've been wanting to do one of these for quite a long time. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of vintage clothing and I find it's one of the more sustainable ways of shopping. I know right now due to COVID-19, everyone's inside their house trying to shop online. And I feel like vintage clothing is a great way to spend your money because one, it's affordable, two, it looks amazing. And three, it's sustainable. It helps the environment. You're not supporting fast fashion. You're not supporting brands that overproduce. So. That being said, I have a bunch of vintage clothes from multiple vintage sellers through Instagram. If you guys are new to like my vintage videos, I have a couple other ones as well. So I'll link them in the description and I'll also have them as cards on the screen. Either side, I don't know which side it is. So if you guys are more interested in other vintage sellers on Instagram and all of that, I highly suggest that you check out those videos as well. But for the time being, I have about three different sellers that have contributed to this vintage haul. So let's get right into the goods, the dwip. So first of the many pieces, we have something that I featured in my summer outfits video. This is the jeans that looked very similar to the Helmet Lang painter jeans, which were definitely like a meme in itself. Like I know a lot of the fashion meme pages go hard on the painter jeans, but I honestly feel like they're definitely a piece that is like, like it's a good entry level archive piece, if that makes sense. But this is an even more broke boy <laughs> version of them just because they're vintage and honestly, like these probably go for like a fraction of what the painter jeans go for, especially since I'm in Canada. If you get anything on Grailed, you're paying in US prices. So it definitely sucks. Nonetheless, the painter jeans by a vintage company, they're not even like a really well-known branded jean. They're not Levi's or anything. You could tell by the back, nothing there, but lots of like distressing, really good distressing on there. Just cool little details. I feel like I could give them a better look now that I'm showing them under like some soft box lights. But yeah, beautiful pair of denim. Sorry, I can't really show it to you guys in full frame, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys these on body. Hopefully they do them justice, but if you wanna look at them even more in depth, uh, watch the summer looks video that I did recently. On to the next one. These next couple of items are from Dwip Dealer. You guys know I work with Dwip Dealer a whole lot. He is definitely like one of the main contributors to the vintage uh, gems that I acquire. So if you guys are new to the channel, check out the Dwip dealer he is an amazing montreal canadian vintage seller i suggest him because he has a great selection and it's just like it's fire great prices great selection what do you what more do you want from that you know what i mean so yes this one really cool very montreal-esque it just says je t'aime a bunch on the t Type jerk them, but don't press send. On to the next one. Sorry, we're gonna dash through these tees a little quick just because they're like pretty simple and plain. Like I said before, if you guys haven't already, go check them out. I'll have his Instagram on the screen, of course, so that you guys can go check it out and see the gems for yourselves. And then also, I believe he has a website now. So not only through Instagram, you can even get things off the website directly. And I know sometimes he has like coupon codes floating around, some discount codes. So just stay tuned to the, the site and you'll definitely have some affordable pickups of your own. I'm just showing you what I got. I got some gems. So this is more of like a stretchy, almost like a knit type of tee. Like, look, like this is it, normal. I could stretch it like this far out. So it's like a really cool, just, I don't really know how else to descri describe it, but a stretchy black painter tee. Has a little bit of a paint speckle on the back. Pretty simple and plain though. Nothing too crazy about it. And this one was not single stitch, but the first one was single stitch, just for in case you guys were asking. This is something I love just because it's a plain black pocket tee with a heavy weight, I believe made in the USA or made in Canada. Yeah, made in Canada. Just a boxy pocket tee. Can't really go wrong with this. See the pocket, see the single stitch, if it wants to focus. 
nice and it's like a solid black it's not a wash black so i know a lot of vintage tees uh out of what i've been seeing recently they're like that charcoal faded black that we all come to love and enjoy it, sometimes it's nice to have just a solid black tee to go with like some of your your sweats some of your like the omplices stuff like that just if you want to be like clean classy you don't want to look a little bit more rugged so that's where the jet black tees come into play still still going with the dwip dealer you got some fuego in here this one my girl mags wants to steal from me she wants to steal my hot she wants to see my heart. Beautiful heart tea. This is more like of a, like an organ type of heart. So it's a bit vulgar, <laughs> but really cool. Single stitched, like I said before. Single stitched. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see with the white on white, but I hopefully, hopefully you guys could see it. But yeah, Megs wants to steal this. Honestly, I might give it to her because I know she's just probably going to adopt it and put it in her wardrobe. So shout out to Boo Boo. She going to steal that for sure. Uh, last one from Dwip Dealer. Sorry, I got all confused because I have three different vintage sellers that sent me stuff for this video. But this is, I believe, the last one from Dwip Dealer. Dwip Dealer, if I mess up, Tristan, if I mess up with one of the tees, I'm sorry. But it's all in the love. Everyone is welcome on this channel for the vintage plug. So, yes. This is the last one, I believe, from Dwip Dealer. It's kind of like a skull punk rock vibe, or like grungy. So it has slits in it, lots of distressing on the back. Kind of scared to like, whenever I put this on, cause I'm always feeling like I'm gonna rip it. But like really cool distress detailing here. I'm not sure if this is like authentic or like someone else did this. This one's not single stitch, just so it's a little bit of a newer tee, but like I love the fade on it. The fade on the print is like perfect. And the distressing is a little bit of a nice touch uh, just for something, if you want something different, I wore this in a picture recently, but you can even really see it. The picture when I'm wearing this, malice hat actually so shout out to my instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e if you guys want to check that out so now on to the next seller i believe this one is from old clothes are cool i became aware of his account very recently we've been messaging and we've been chopping it up about a lot of clothes recently so i asked him if he wanted to be featured on the channel he said yes he's been helping me acquire a lot of vintage goodies recently so i figured i would help him out by featuring him on the channel of course so we have a bunch of pieces from him we have some cool essential pieces and then also some tees and yeah so let's get on to the getting on this either is from dwip dealer or from him but regardless of the fact beautiful paint splatter tee right here this is one of my favorites because it's on the side it's like it has a like a really cool effect and it's that charcoal wash black that we all love this one single stitch as well and then you guys could see that paint hit a bit more on the back as well it's the front again back sorry it's not giving the best angles obviously because i'm pretty up close and personal with you guys. Beautiful paint splatter tee with a wash charcoal black. Can't really go wrong with that. And continuing with other items from old clothes are cool. Hopefully I'm saying that Instagram name correctly, um, but regardless, I'm gonna have it plastered on the screen so you guys can check it out. So this one, really cool graphic, the heart of recovery or like a recovery place, but they definitely have some really nice colors going on with the front of this. Sorry if it's getting washed out. But this is the back graphic. The heart of recovery, really, really nice. And then also, I don't know if you guys picked it up before, but like, yeah, nice distressing. It's kind of like a off white color because of how old it is. But yeah, really nice tea. Next joint is one that I really do love. Russell Athletic, size large, made in USA. Some of the older tees are probably like 90s, 80s. Lady Indians graphic i feel like it's really nice this reminds me a lot of the colette hyatt uh t-shirt for sure really really nice and i love like the fit of this one really cool next joint is simple and plain you guys know i'm building up my collection white nike baby swoosh white tag made in usa size large i believe all the other ones that i have are xl so this one might be a bit short but a crispy white vintage nike very hard to come by and like like i'm very surprised like how crispy white this is i really thought this was gonna be like an off-white but it's very like very pristine for its age and i like how tiny this swoosh is it's very like wearable like if you want to get on your your drake uh your drake vibes you know i don't know what i'm doing i have no idea what i'm doing this last piece is probably the heavy header of this piece i always like saving it for the end from prime vintage I'll put his Instagram on the screen as well, but a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pair of vintage Levi's. And these are crazy, crazy come up. I saw them on his, actually, 
I didn't see them on his page. I DM'd him, which I strongly suggest that a lot of you guys do because some of these vintage accounts haven't even posted what they have yet because they have a lot of inventory or they're pretty curated in what they post. So if they do have more inventory, which they should, just DM them and ask them what they haven't posted yet because you wanna be on the stuff that they have before it's even out there because once it's posted, it's more than likely gonna fly within the first hour or like just pretty quick. So if you want it, I suggest you hop on it before anyone else is on it. So that's what happened with this. I was like, send me what you haven't posted yet. He sent me these and I was like, bro, say no more. Like, sign me up, chief. Sign me the hell up. These are insane. Like gorgeous, 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 crazy. Look at the knee blowout, like the details on the knee blowout. So sick. The back. And then like, you can even see the, the different color of indigo from the patch. The Levi's patch is all blown out because someone was uh, painting a whole ass house in these. You can see the bottoms too if you want. Nice little distressings on the bottoms. Releasing these hems might be nice too, actually, because I don't really have a pair of pants with a released hem and I've seen them done pretty nice, like on a lot of pairs. So maybe I'll do that for these. Um, I wanted to do it on the classic pair of 501s that I have that are a bit of a slimmer cut, but I, I never have the balls to do it because I just want to keep them true to what they actually are. But with these, they're already de-stressed and all over the place. So maybe that's something that I'll do in the future. But Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. My name is Kyron and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video with all my vintage pickups. If you guys are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Like I said before, follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics and a whole lot of do it, of course. And yeah, that's about it. See you guys on the next video. I'm out of here.